What's going on? How are you guys doing? Good. Let me go ahead and get started here. My name is Jason Smith, and uh, I'm from Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, but um, I actually was born and raised in Albuquerque, New Mexico. If you know anything about New Mexico, it's the home of hot air balloons and green chili. And uh, I moved from Albuquerque, from Vegas, uh, from Albuquerque to Vegas uh, right after high school. And as you know, Vegas is home to the Strip and to you going home with no money in your pocket. So over the past few months, I've had the opportunity to reflect on how I became a teacher and what are some of the lessons that I've learned that have influenced me to become a teacher. Like what are some of the things that I've learned that I want to pass on to my teach to my students? And where did I get that training? Where did I learn those lessons? Was it in high school? Not really, not the big ones. Was it in university? I learned great lessons there, but not the big ones. Where I learned to become a teacher and where I really, really learned what it means to be a productive person was here. 1301 San Jose, and I call it the school of granny. And this is my teacher, my grandmother, Dorothy May Adams. My, Dor my grandmother, Dorothy May, she is not only the most influential person that's ever come across my life, but she instilled a lot of lessons in me. And I started thinking after 17 years, wow, things that my grandmother taught me, I'm actually teaching my students. And there are three lessons that I really, really, really learned from my grandmother that I try to pass on to my students. The first lesson that I passed on to my grandmother, it, my grandmother passed on to me was work hard, even when the work is hard. Now, so you guys understand, my grandmother came from Arkansas, moved to New Mexico. And when she, in the fifties, only job that she could have was, was a maid, that was it. And my uncle tells me a story about how he went to work with her one day and found her on the floor and her hands and knees scrubbing the floors. It was hard work. And she had to work hard because she had three children to raise on her own. Now, I think it's okay for us to challenge our students to work hard and to push them. But I think it's also important to give them support. Now, with the challenge and support, they will grow. My second lesson that I learned is to take pride in your work. Now, do you like laundry? You might not, but my grandma was like the LeBron James of laundry. She could starch pants so hardcore that they would stand on their own almost, right? So I like to tell my students to take pride in your work. Don't just slop things together. Don't just push things together. Take pride in your work. It might not be perfect, but it's your work. The third lesson I learned was to build strong and meaningful relationships. My grandmother worked at the community center, so everybody knew her and loved her. And if you ever needed somewhere to stay or somewhere to put your head down, my granny got you. She had you. And she built those strong relationships, and people loved her for it. Now, when we build strong relationships with our students, what's going to end up happening is this. They're going to remember those things for the rest of their lives. They're not going to just remember what we taught them in class. And kind of like how Maya Angelou said, you know, they're not going to remember what you told them, but they're going to remember how you felt. So that's why it's important to make sure you build those relationships. So I like to challenge every educator out there. When you start planning your lessons, think about the lessons that you learned from your family, from your grandma, your granny, whoever it is. Use those lessons and create a community in your, in your classroom that not only you're going to create excellent students, but you're also going to create better people. Boom. 